Hey yo, welcome back to a new video. Uh, it's been a while. I I took a bit of a break after the gamba, a few days break from part of things out. But I'm back and I'm uh, coming with a big farm. I'm still determined to make a head and out of white maps. So what I'm doing is doing 1,000 strand or belfry maps, farming beasts. So I just did my first hundred in the last uh, four hours, and uh, this is what I got. So, for if any more plague the rat needs, I got 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. If any more plague the rat needs. And for cracky chimeras, I got 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, I know this is a bit lucky. Well, not a bit, a lot lucky. And there's going to be people in comments saying that's no way you've done that well this happened and i got lucky this time but i still have 900 more maps to go so we'll, i'm sure we'll get a decent average that um, we'll know what to expect but still this is part of exile this is still rng and uh we cannot expect to go to get big every time right so this is what i got in terms of beasts and i picked up these three cards Right, level 3 and 19, level 4 empowered dragon's art, and uh, fate first than death for cortex. Right, um, in terms of drops, I, I, I'm also farming harbinger and I got 10 fracturing shards and uh, 21 harbinger orbs and orbs of anomalies. Right, I did not get a single roll, a divine or I got a couple of chaos, but I'm not going to include those. And I got these seven exalted, but I'm not including them either. I'm not including Harbinger Orbs. I'm not including Orb of Anomalies. I'm only including the Fracturing Shards. In terms of investment, I was running, I was running Polished Beast Beast uh, Scarabs, and uh, I was running Essence on the on the Kirax bench, right? That means this map was costing three chaos. Or up to five kills, including two kills of the scarab, right? So let's take a look at the XO shit. Sorry for the flashbang. Um, polished beast scarab. This is the input. Polished beast scarabs about 100 of them, two pair. That's 200. Then Kira essences on the bench. That's 300. Which means, it, which means I invested 500 chaos into all of this into this farm, right? And I got nine cracky chimeros. They are about 280 chaos each. I got uh, 2.520 chaos. And for more played plague directness, I got 1,570. Then for essences, this is the essences that I got. All right, let me just refresh the thingy. All right, this is the essence that I got. 11.1, 11.01. Well, let's just call it 11 divines from from essences that's uh 2422 c then fracturing shards they are 55 c each i got 550 chaos from that total income is 7000 chaos right and this is the total profit from this set and i got almost 30 divines out of out of from 500 chaos to 30 divines that is some good um good profit i mean i must say so per map uh i was doing about 15 you know i was doing about 25 maps to 30 maps per, per hour which amounted to almost four hours which gives us a 7.4 divine profit per hour which is really good for this first set of maps so i will be doing a bit more maps today probably another 100 before i go to sleep today and uh tomorrow i'll try to do maybe three 300 maps Right, so this is my atlas tree. I modified it a bit from the last one. As you can see, I added this, subtle manipulations. Oh yeah, so I probably did a little bit more than 100 maps because of this. I forgot to mention this. I probably did a little bit more than 100 maps, but it's still not much, probably less than 110, right? And uh, these nodes are really good. These two nodes here, three percent chance to go to create a copy of beast captured in all maps i think i duplicated cracky chimeras four times like i could have gotten i should have gotten five but the four of them they duplicated 
that, that's what I think happened because I was getting sometimes I was getting three from one map, I was getting four from one map. That's how I got the nine. They weren't like one in every ten, right? There were just a couple of maps that got me a lot of cry kick in one map, which explains how I got nine of them, right? And I'm taking all the essence. I took these just to increase them because I did not have any remnant of corruption when I started. So now you see I have 129 remnants. So I should probably spec out of this and uh, maybe look for other nodes to pick somewhere else, right? So that should do it guys um thank you for watching thank you for the support i'm so close to my goal for end of april which is 250 subs so if you don't mind subscribing leaving a like leaving a comment i would truly appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next video cheers